In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our favorites, the things we loved, the foods we loved, and the things that we just downright hated. <laughs> if they made it into this video, we either loved it or hated it for the month of April. So we start off with the dislikes first. Unfortunately, there were quite a few <laughs> dislikes. More than normal. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, like six things. Um, but we did, just to throw this out there, we did go at that time to Jungle Gems International Market and we picked up a bunch of things that we uh, we didn't know if we were going to like them or not. And some things, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Right. So one of the things that we absolutely hated was this Duncan Hines layered pudding. This is the chocolate frosting and yellow cake. And this came as a huge shock because I think just a month ago, those Duncan Hines epic kits came out, the cookie kits, and I mean, they were a favorite. Yeah, they're they, all good. They're wonderful. So for this to be such a stinker, it was just really surprising. But I wrote uh, runny pudding, thick chocolate, very artificial. Oh, I said in here, um, I wrote a note saying during the video of this, I said I wasn't gonna put it in my hate pile. The reason I'm putting it in my hate pile is because I want to warn you don't buy it. Uh, so I, I ended up putting it in the hate pile anyway just because I didn't want you to get it. So what did you want to show? You want me to show this? This, I hated this. Which one hated it. This is the Grippo's um, yeah. Deluxe Nacho Cheese Dip. I wrote on there. It was there, very artificial. It smelled and tasted rancid yeah. now we did try one alongside of this and it was delicious mm -hmm. um but this was the nastiest nastiest thing i didn't think it was bad as you i don't believe but you didn't but but, but it was still not great cheese dip right um what do you want to show I think this one. okay um this one is the eat pastry um cookie dough Chocolate chip uh, cookie dough. What did you write on here? That's the problem with me showing them is I can't read it. Oh, chemical aftertaste. Uh, funky flavor. So that's these, just in case you don't remember them. And um, I will tell you that um, the company reached out to me <laughs> and they wanted to know if they could send me a different kind. So we reviewed this one. And in the same video, we reviewed like the, uh, like a, I think it was peanut butter. It was in an orange container. And they reached out to me and they said, not, that's not everybody's cup of tea is this one because maybe because it's vegan. They gave a reason that there was, um, that it's not everybody's thing. And so they wanted to know, could they send me this other kind to try? And I said, sure, I'll try. I'll be more than happy to try it. Um, I, yeah, I thought that was very nice of them to offer. So you may see another review. We don't get those in our area no, that we've seen no. at all. Yeah, uh, just that chemical aftertaste and the foul kind of off flavor. Yeah, it was just, it wasn't for us. Uh, but I'm glad that the company was so receptive to that. that yeah, I mean, so not everybody nice. likes everything. Right. Um, these, if you watch the video, these were just a massive, massive fail and a disappointment. Um, two strong uh, warhead, yes, it, they had a, a warhead powder. It was intense remember mm -hmm. and they were awful. not sweet um there was no sweetness and i didn't write this note on the back but they were expensive too mm -hmm. and i don't remember if it was this one we had another pack in the same video and one of them we were supposed to get like five flavors and i think we got two, two. flavors yeah. talk about being disappointed after spending like three dollars on a little pack like this that's pretty disappointing when you're expecting a pack of variety so those were not good. Um, these are the Kit Kat Passion Fruit, which um, they were just weren't good at all. I don't, what did you write on there? Very floral. Yeah, and and they I remember these. The Passion Fruit for Passion Fruit was, has become the new mango. Um, most things we've had that have passion fruit in them, I don't care for. <laughs> right. Um, some of them are okay, but but some of them is just like awful. And this was just a really strong floral flavor. But these are a, like a Japanese or an Asian Kit Kat, so I doubt we'll get them around here anyway. But just to let you know. Just to let you know, if you go if to if you happen to go to a, a market, market that has them, yeah. Uh, these same thing. This is the Sobisk brand. These are vanilla cream cookies. These were like dollar packs of cookies that mm -hmm. I picked up from Jungle Gems. Just thinking. 
hey, we'll try them. It's a dollar pack of cookies. And uh, I wrote on here, chemical flavor, bad aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm yeah, thinking it was very strong and off -putting. And none of them were, were awesome tasting, yeah. but, but that was the worst. Yeah, that was definitely the worst. So that is all of the things we didn't like. Now, everything else, if it made it here, then we loved it. And uh, so we have a lot of things, honestly, this month that were sent to us mm -hmm. from some of you all. So uh, let me just go over these first. These uh, were sent to us. Uh, from Laura, and I've still got Laura's name on that one. Uh, these are the Dockside Cakes. This is the Captain. These were our favorite three out of all of them. The Captain's Chocolate Chip, the Cabana Banana Nut, and the Calypso Coconut. Listen, if they're really good, they were super moist. If you didn't watch, there were two videos. Each video had different cakes in them, and if you didn't watch this video. You should go look up their website because what Laura did was she ordered the sampler. And you can see how big these boxes mm -hmm. are. The it, You could divide it between two people easily. Oh, easily, yeah. And, uh, Might even get three out of them. So the sampler would be awesome to send to somebody. Like if you have a relative that lives in the next state over and you are a special Mother's Day gift or Father's Day gift. I mean, it's just a cool gift, I think. And they're really good. To be able to order these and send them to somebody. I think it's a wonderful gift idea. And you get one of each. And um, there were like eight of them. Six or eight. Yeah. I'm thinking there were like eight cakes, and and they're they're all delicious. Mm -hmm. They're all good. We just Phenomenal. Didn't really take but these were the very the best of the best to us, uh, especially that banana. Yeah, they were really good. Banana nut, loved it. I have the Hanks. Um, these, both of them are seasonal, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I have the caramel apple one. And I have the pumpkin spice. And these were like the best flavored like seasonal things we've had. And pretty much any drink. Yeah. They were th that good. And they should keep them out all year long. Yeah, especially this year apple. Long. I mean, it's just apple. Caramel mm -hmm. apple is just really sweet apple. And pumpkin flavor. spice. You can enjoy pumpkin spice anytime. You know what, though? In other, that's my mind. My mind, I'm willing to have it any time of year. There are some people that their mind will only allow them to drink stuff like that, that at that special that time. time of year. I'm, I'm just not like that. Um, it's good. If so, I like it, who, who cares? If it comes out this fall, if you have, uh, if they offer Hanks in your area anyway, you need to try these. These were a Jungle Gym purchase. Yeah. Um, we have the macaroons. These are the uh, red velvet and raspberry jam. And George, uh, Georgiana sent these to us. And... I loved that raspberry jam. Mm -hmm. it, it was, was it was absolutely delicious. If you somehow missed the review, that's how they looked. Um, I'm usually not that impressed uh, with macarons, and th these were nice because they were filled. Mm -hmm. They they were filled with more. Than, and they didn't have a really tough jelly too. They were a nice texture. And it was so sweet. Mm -hmm. So those were a hit. Um. I got a couple bags here. They're all different, though. Yeah, they're um, all different. I can't say that one. This is the uh, Le Montage. I don't know how to pronounce that. We'll just go with it. Uh, um, maple maple cream ch uh, milk chocolate bites. These we found at the, the Christmas tree shops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were terrific. It, this is something that we don't see around here. They're made in Canada. And um, so we saw them there, and we'll probably never see them again, unfortunately. But they were they delicious. Were really Textures are really good. Sweet those. without being uh, chemical maple. Mm -hmm. Um, I finished this bag. Which These ones? are the, jalapeno, the, the yeah. ha jalapeno cheese ones. I, I ate the cheese ones. They they were good too, but they weren't as good as those. Did you like these as much as I did? I like the cheese one. I like those two. They were, they were both I'm equally the one that good. finished them. But well, I just grabbed them out of the... No, uh, they were equally good in just different ways. And I did eat the whole bag in one setting. So, I ate the cheese ones all in one. Yeah, so it's like... I know they have the certain servings on here. I've got it folded over. It's 330 calories for the whole pack. I just ate the whole thing. I mean, I, I'm not going to divide that up. No. But, and once you start eating them, they're so good and... and they just kind of collapse in yeah, your mouth. Yeah, they go quick. Yeah, but very nice. This is me and Good. you. These, um, 
were the Matt's Bakery mm -hmm. peanut butter chocolate chip. Yeah, and I have just the peanut butter cookies. I can still smell them. Yeah, I we, think I finished these off. Uh, I ate quite you a few. You ate some, those. but I think I finished all. Well, so. you, I was wanting the ones that were just peanut butter. Yeah, and I would just reach in there and grab. And whatever. Kevin would get, <laughs> would get yeah. whatever I found. Yeah, it's like the only ones that that I'm eating out of this bag are the peanut butter. Well, sometimes he would grab peanut butter, and sometimes he'd grab peanut butter chocolate chip. Uh, well, it was hard to tell the difference sometimes. Right. Sometimes but you couldn't see the chocolate chips necessarily right there on the outside. We also did a cranberry walnut. And it was really good. Oatmeal. Yeah. It was I think I ate those too. absolutely delicious. Yeah. So if you can find these Matt's cookies, they have them at like, um, I've seen them at Fresh Market, but they don't have all the varieties at Fresh Market. Fresh yeah. Market just has a limited amount. Yeah, these are excellent. More cookies. These are the Mrs. Fields Semi Sweet Chocolate. It surprised me when I did this video because I was really impressed with these and I said if I were to buy uh, uh, cookies, refrigerated cookies. refrigerated cookies, I would buy this brand again totally. And I had a lot of people in the comments say, never liked them, don't like them, don't. But I'm wondering if maybe if you haven't had them in a few years, if they've changed them or I don't know. I, I just, I thought they were yeah, really I good, were good and too. I can't imagine... Uh, and somebody said something about them being back. And it's like, well, our Meyer has always had these. I just never bought them. They've had them as far as I can remember. They've had these uh, Mrs. Fields. Um, so for us, they never went away. But uh, yeah, if you haven't had them in a long time, it might be something that you want to try again. I just thought they were really yeah, delicious. I thought they were really good too. Uh, cookies. One of the better ones. Yeah. You want to do some of these? Sure. Uh, these are the Pepperidge Farm. Are they both farmhouse? No. No. I have the Pepperidge Farm farmhouse thin and crispy butter pecan cookies, and these are new. And these are the uh, big chocolate chunks, double chocolate, Nantucket dark chocolate. And these, both of these were good. You finished the Nantucket. Yeah. I helped eat those. Yeah, and but all of them, all of them are good. <laughs> those are so good. I pointed those out. I just pointed those out again to Kevin at the store, and we know we can't buy them because mm -hmm. if we buy them, have to buy. We're going to eat them because out of all the Pepperidge Farm cookies, so we did a lot of reviews of Pepperidge Farm cookies. The thin and crispy are the best they were out really of good. all of them, and and normally I'm all about a ooey gooey cookie out of the oven just falling apart but those you cannot beat those thin They're and crispy good. cookies. Had a good crispness but they had a lot of flavor to them but the the double chocolate ones were the some of the better chocolate chip cookies you can ever have that are crunchy right that, that you can buy in the store those are some of the best ones they're, they're very very good they're a little pricey for what for the number of cookies you get but they were they're I think they're worth them because they're so good right yeah. well I love those yeah and these are really good too oh uh, and I could eat the whole bag of those um let me show you these uh joshua sent us the esther price um these uh these are the esther price uh, chocolate covered potato chips and then i had the assorted milk and, and dark and they had uh, they used um very very thick i mean it was just a thin mike it sells potato, chip. potato chip yeah it was a lot of chocolate thick 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 chocolate but now those were incredible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, th this is an Ohio company and, um, he, come, he, he, he actually lives in Texas now, but he comes from Ohio. And, um, so I think it's awesome that he, he sent these to us because I had no idea how good they were. They I would were, be excellent. proud to buy those and give those to anybody. Do you want me to, I've got a lot more than you. Yeah. Uh, these, uh, this is a box, the top of the box. <laughs> these were op on Operation Cookies, and these were sent to us from Josh. And we had a Joshua, and then this is Josh. Um, these, he sent us the Buckeyes and the Lemon Cookies. And if you missed the review, the Buckeyes were... The size of a golf ball. They were huge. Yeah. Huge. Thick, thick chocolate. It was like peanut a butter was good. peanut butter roll like a creamy peanut butter fudgy it, i mean it was just absolutely delicious and the chocolate was wonderful huge though um we loved them and you know what to be fair i like the lemon cookies a lot too mm -hmm. because they mm -hmm. had uh, white chocolate chips in them so uh love those would totally order from them 
anytime. Um, these are the fudge dipped cookie bites. And Those are Benton's. It's from Aldi. Oh, there you go. Um, these are really good. Mini peanut butter sandwich cream. So they're they're like little mini chocolate peanut butter cookies with chocolate around them. That's what they are basically. They're, they were very, very good. They did a really good job with the peanut butter. Should I have any more Benton's over here? No. These are uh, from Pam and Steve. These are Sweet Smith Candy Company. And we do not see these around here. Um, this is the sea salt chocolate peanut brittle. And this is the sea salt uh, chocolate toffee caramel. And this is good. a Canadian company. And what was so different about these is it, it looks like it would be a, a candy bar. But then it's not. It's it's literally a brittle, and mm -hmm. and you bite into it, and it's crispy and sweet and delicious. And I went to their website, and they have about fifty flavors. They well, not that many, but they do have a lot of flavors of these. Um, so if I ever see them around here, I will absolutely uh, buy more because oh very high quality, terrific. All right, so these are the um, the Muddy Buddies. These are pretzel bites, the peanut butter and chocolate pretzel bites, and they're new. Um, yeah, I don't remember these just being really good, the coating and everything on the outside, these being just really top notch. And it has a little salt to them. And yeah. Those were one of those dangerous things to have in the- Yeah, because you want to eat them all. Yeah, you do. Mm, you can still smell the sugar. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, that's one of those things where uh, yeah, you just want to go in there and you want grab to a handful. grab a handful and then you get that flavor in your mouth and you want to go back and have another handful. Yep. And, um, yeah, those were good. so yeah, that's another one of those things where we can't buy, we can't have that in the house. Um, these, I'm going to show you these because I loved them, but Kevin, not so much. I am crazy about these. Um, they're pronounced mind them. Boracinis. I had written it on the bag. And it means drunk. Um, and we had the butter rum, the eggnog, and the cappuccino or whiskey, There's creamy whiskey. Okay, so, okay, tequila. tequila, and then this is eggnog. And then these are, okay, there's different flavors in Inside this one. That one yeah. Yes. This one had uh, chocolate, tequila, cappuccino, whiskey. It had different flavors. We found these at Jungle Gems. I've never seen them around here. The texture, I could literally sit and eat the entire box. The entire box. Because they're that good. I am not allowing myself to ever buy them again. Because I, they're that good. I they would, have a marzipan kind of flavor. Kind of like a soft... Uh, they're really, kind of really soft. Texture. The texture is like nothing I've ever had before. Yeah. I would rather eat a box of these than a tub of ice cream. No, that's the truth. I would rather eat a box of these than a candy bar, than brownies. I'm, I just like them. I just I, like them. I remember them being much. okay. Yeah, you were not as like over the moon as me. Me, it was like straight <laughs> to the moon. I loved them. Loved them. And those, are, I think, are Mexican treats. They were in the Mexico section. Yeah, made in Mexico. Well, I love them. If I lived in Mexico, I would probably weigh about 400 pounds because I would be eating them all the time. Uh, this one's called Hands Off My Chocolate. This one is the Hazelnut Fortune Cookie. Pretty sure you finished that. Yeah, I probably did. It sounds like somebody would eat. We um, found that at Jungle Jams. Yeah, uh, the Hands Off My Chocolate, they're all pretty decent. But, and they're expensive bars, but they're, they're very good quality, and very good flavors mm -hmm. of, of chocolate. Um, I have these, the Great mm, Value, the new Great Value cookies. Uh, there were two other uh, flavors out that were new, but these are the best. These are the tri Triple Berry Cream, and when you, you can't tell from the picture on the front, which you would think they would highlight it, but when you, when you take it apart just to look at it, it actually has in the center, it has the berry. The berry yeah. And it's. Yeah, you would think one of them would be sliced in half or something. Yeah, to show you that you actually. Because people might think the berry's just in the cookie itself yeah. and that there's not any in the center. But um, CVS S also sells some cookies like that where, where it's like you can see the gel in the center. But that's what this is like. It has the, the white cream around the outside and then the gel in the middle. 
I thought they were phenomenal. Yeah. And a lot I of really them. you watched the video and you said, oh, I'm going to try those. I hope you did because uh, I don't think they were that expensive either. No, most of the cookies are pretty cheap. Okay, this is the Lent Kirsch uh, flavored candy bar. This was from Germany, wasn't it? Or did we buy this? We bought we that bought okay. at Jungle Gems. Jungle Gems. It may have came out of the Germany section. Because <laughs> it's written in, it looks like it's all written in German. That's yeah. why I'm saying that. But these were that cursed flavor. And these actually had a, a good alcohol flavor without being overpowering, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they were just a really nice flavor. And it had that cherry kind of flavor too. So Excellent quality. Yeah, much Lent is all excellent, excellent quality. quality. <laughs> Now, all of mine that I have left is, I'm going to show it pretty much all at once. Because okay. that's all from the same person. Oh, well, you didn't have to share. Yeah, These we found at Jungle Gems International Market. The Acapella Dark Chocolate Caramels with Red Lava Sea Salt. Mm, I remember those. Yes. Yeah. We, um, we actually dumped them out into a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. because we wanted to keep this. We're like, we want to show that in favorites. So uh, that's what we, we do that a lot. We'll dump something out and, and make sure we keep the package. Because um, I forget. Or I, yeah, uh, yeah, because I, I have to write notes on things. Keep this package. Um, so these, these were absolutely delicious. Mm, they were good. I, I think, remember the salt and stuff on the top were, was really good. I think there were like eight things in this video, six or eight things from acapella. Yeah. But, and they were good quality, but this is the best. Um, this one is the don't forget cake, the caramel flavor. And I remember this was just, just literally cake with you caramel. You finished that on the yeah. couch. With cake with caramel. I remember it because it was so good. Um, that's a nice little container too if you wanted to keep it. Um, if you ever see any of these, all of them were pretty good though, weren't they? They had some chocolate ones and things like that. They were all really good. This was like the favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this yeah. was like the best one. The best of the um, best. Because it was good texture and the flavors were just excellent too. Martha. Martha Stewart. So, for uh, those people that have been watching me for a while, uh, I had somebody comment saying, well, the Martha Stewart seem to be a lot better than the Pioneer Woman. They are. They, were. they They really were. Even though there's some of that stuff I wouldn't have eaten either, really. Uh, but, th these, but the quality and flavor was a lot better. Yeah, and there's some. I've, I've visited her website, and uh, she has Instagram and all that. We have not seen everything that she has to offer. So she has a lot more. I think she has like pigs in a blanket. And she has all kinds now of see, other. see, I could get into that. Yeah. She has all kinds of other appetizers as well. And we just don't have them here. So I will stay on the lookout for them. As a matter of fact, our Kroger, we bought these at a larger Kroger in Lexington. Our Kroger is just now getting some of these in. Um, they're all ones we've tried already. <laughs> yeah, they're ones we, exactly. They're ones we've tried. So there was one with like, bacon or something mm -hmm. i thought we have got to get that haven't seen the one with bacon around us yet uh but these were the tomato tartlets with yeah, fontina they were cheese they were awesome. very good my only awesome. complaint about any all the martha stewart things and the pioneer woman and all those appetizer things are they're expensive for what you get you get nine yeah you only get nine pieces nine. so <laughs> if you have a little group together of four or five people that's that's enough for them to have a couple one or two each depending on how much well if eat. you get a couple boxes yeah. and then you can pick but, a couple but still i mean you wouldn't have a group of 20 or something no not, it would you know, cost you a fortune yeah that's when you go to the, G, uh, the gordon's food service and buy yeah. their big trays yeah. <laughs> yes exactly but these they were really good. Seriously good, yeah. Uh, this one is the uh, Aunt Sally's uh, Creole Pralines. This one is the Banana Foster, although there were other flavors of these that were really, really good. This was like the best one. And we were recently at a store. We got these at Jungle Gems, and uh, if I'd remembered how good they were, because we had, if I'd known how good they were at that time, I would have bought a box of them, but we were afraid to buy the box because they're so big. Mm -hmm. um, but we said during that video, when we did this, that they had one that they didn't sell individually. It was like the spicy, spicy or some spicy Creole or something like that. Um, we had actually tried it because um, they didn't realize it. Yeah, they sell it at a Uncle local Charlie's. place called Uncle Charlie's Meats, which is like a meat market, but they also sell other deli and stuff too. So they sell that spicy one there that we'd already tried. So so it was a good thing we didn't buy it. Yeah. Uh, but these are excellent. If you see these around your area, get them because they, they're just really, really good. Yeah, they were. They were nice. You that one. Oh, well, this is the uh, Reese's Crunchy Peanut. And this is... 
think it's like the newest offering from Reese's. It was good. And it was very good. I and love the, the peanut texture in there. Just just put it over the top as far as When we did was. the review, yeah, it says a third of the pack is 170 calories. It, but it's one big bar. So now I had people comment that I wish they had split up the bar. I wish they had split up the bar too. Truth be told, most people are going to eat the whole bar at one time, at though, I and I think that's what they're thinking. But I know that we ate, we finished off one piece for the review, but then I know I ate uh, a piece immediately after, and then Kevin saved his for later. Mm -hmm. So it is a terrific candy bar. It's very bar. good. I love the textures and stuff of it. My favorite, though, out of the ones that have come out recently are still the ones with the pretzel. Pretzel. The one I can... In the big bite. Tell you, yes, the, the big bite pretzel, it's 180 calories. Absolutely terrific. Yeah, a wonderful they are really good. salt, peanut butter. It has it all going on. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. They, they do have those in the miniatures now, too. The peanut ones. Yeah. I don't know if they're as good because you wouldn't get as, as much of that thick part in the middle, but right. they, they do have them in the miniatures now. The too. pretzel ones? The pretzel ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these are the Sour Patch Kids, uh, the one with the mystery flavor in there. Still don't know what the mystery flavor is, but we, you know, we've we've guessed a couple times. We've guessed a couple times. <laughs> we actually got on the computer and I said, you know, we yeah. could really use that money. So you, <laughs> you you've got to put some guesses in there. So, so so these are really good, and we've still got a few in the drawer. I think um, that because I've been eating like two or three of them, I'll go through the kitchen and just grab a couple. Um, I think the flavor, one of my favorite flavors out of that is the mystery flavor though, out of the bag. So. Hopefully they keep them up. Or hopefully they come out with a whole bag of or just whatever this that was is. what it was. Yeah. Um, I forget every time how good the texture is. Of oh those. yeah, yeah you can't beat the. You can't beat the. If you go to if you've had Haribo Which or are hard. Tra uh, Trolley, uh, hard. it's just it, the, these are so incredibly yeah. soft. Yeah. Um, and easy. These are to almost eat. like jelly bean. The inside of a jelly bean texture instead of these hard rubbery chewy pieces that you mm -hmm. get from Harbo and stuff. Anybody can eat that. Yeah, these are really good. Um, and, and they say they're sour. They're really not. They're, I don't think. They might have a little tartness right at the beginning, but then that goes away. And right. It's just sweet. <laughs> Pure sugar after that. Okay, I have two more things. Do you want me to go ahead and do yours? Or? I don't care if we do mine. These were all sent to us from Maria in Germany. So I just put um, everything in a pile. Um, these are the uh, Alpia candy bars. So this one is the coconut. And this one is, is pistachio. pistachio. And, and I actually like the pistachio. That was your favorite. Well. Yeah, which is unusual because I don't really like that flavor. But these didn't really taste like. No, it pistachio. wasn't strong. It was no. it was more like creamy and yeah. sweet. Yeah, and but they were they were excellent. Very very good candy bars. If if they got those here, these would be ones that we would want to get all the yeah, time. Yeah, that brand reminds me a lot of Milka and um, stuff like that. It's a very, very nice chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then I kept this little bitty piece of paper. This is the uh, whole hazelnut Milka. So it was literally a little of milk chocolate. and then it's like you, a little dome piece of chocolate. Yes, right? yeah. and you would bite into it and there was a whole hazelnut on the inside. Mm, that was good. But Milka chocolate is, once you've had it... Uh, and it's actually from Germany, you won't want to so have anything else because it's wonderful. Although, I would eat this again and again and again. Which one was that one? Uh, this is the uh, rum. Raisin. Oh, the grapes. Yeah. Uh, Maria wrote rum, grapes, and nuts. Right. Yeah, and it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, it's funny because I really, really, really like that rum flavor. And there's a... Um, there was a Cadbury bar. I remember uh, mm -hmm. Dr. J sent it to us, and it was um, it was a dark chocolate, but it was a Jamaica rum Cadbury bar, and it's just a terrific bar. So if I lived in Germany, this would be my go-to, right. I think. And I don't think the rum was that strong. I mean, you could taste it, but it wasn't like overpowering. Oh, it so wasn't it was really too nice. much, yeah. no. Uh, then we have these. Onion uh, rings. These, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically <laughs> but the texture the texture was so good compared to like a, a funyun here mm -hmm. over here the, the funyun is really hard and sharp those are a good soft crunch yes uh, they're really nice and, and then, the flavor was really strong too these and i have something to tell you all about these too during the review these are the they're oh yeah they're, they're, yeah they're gummies and they have uh six different flavors in here 
And during the review, I said, you know, I said, these must have been out at Halloween because not that there's anything wrong with that at all, but there's a haunted house on there and the they're shaped like little ghosts. And Maria's like, oh no, those are out year round. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. Yeah. I love it that they're out year round um, because I love Halloween stuff, and I'm a sucker for haunted houses and stuff like that. And I would buy these just because of that. I mean, they were good. On they top were good. Of that. They yeah. were really nice. Because I think you brought the package in uh, at the computer, which is always a mistake. And uh, we sit there and eat the whole package. We th Yeah, <laughs> you can't take anything uh, near the computer when you're working. Yeah, because yes. you, you automatically, you're doing stuff, you, you don't even think about it. Especially you just reach over and stuff eat stuff. Like this. Yeah. yeah. And then the last thing I have for Maria is the... A deca. These are cocos flocking. Uh, <laughs> they are, uh, yeah. These are uh, coconut and chocolate, and we put these in a Ziploc baggie mm -hmm. and ate on these. I love that they were a creamy coconut, kind of like those little cream uh, chocolate cream drops we have here. But they have they had a but they have coconut. I mean, it had a coconut flavor too. Yeah. And they were and they were better quality than those little drops I'm thinking yes. about too. Yeah, they, they were excellent. So those were delicious. They would those would be one of those things you lay on your tongue and just like kind of let it melt a little yes. bit before you actually eat it. Right. At least that's what I did. Okay, we have two two more things. Uh, I had to get this out of the cabinet because we're still I, I, we're still working on it. <laughs> that's good stuff. That's, yes. Um, this one is the peanut butter um, and chocolate puffs from, from Walmart for great value. Um, they're really good. They People were better than the Reese's. People have been very surprised. Very surprised that, that we like these, but more. Have they tried them? Not yet because they're new. And oh, some people okay. haven't seen them. Some people said they went to the website and they haven't seen them on the website. Um, but You're some, saying they were surprised not because they tried them, just that they were Walmart brand and we liked them better. That we liked them better yeah. than Reese's. Yeah. But some people said, you know what? Those Reese's have a corn flavor and I've never liked the corn flavor yeah. in those. You don't get that with these. You don't realize how strong the corn flavor is until you have them up against something yeah. that doesn't have it at all. Mm -hmm. These taste like chocolate and peanut butter. They do not have that underlying corny mm -hmm. flavor. And the Reese's ones are harder and everything. Drier, just overall just not as good a product. I can't wait for people to try yeah. these. I think um, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yes, and you're going to save, we save money. You yeah. get to save a dollar. You know what though? I like Great Value Mayonnaise better than I like uh, Miracle Whip or, or whatever Kraft mayonnaise. I like. Right. I'd rather have Walmart brand than than the brand brand name. So, right. You know, no. Just because it's Walmart brand doesn't mean it's worse. As a matter of fact, they've got cookies that I, we've. Oh, before. in the bakery. We would, we would rather well, have them. Just than, yeah, just regular. Just well, regular we cookies. showed the Great Value Triple yeah. Berry Cream. Those were wonderful. All right. So the last thing we have is the Hudsonville uh, Seaside Caramel Ice Cream, and this one. Um, it's caramel, sea salt, truffles, and vanilla ice cream with a salted caramel ribbon. And you know who finished this? Because <laughs> Sammy doesn't eat ice cream yeah, that often. Not often, um, I know. But yeah, it was just excellent. It's just overall, this whole brand, um, Hudsonville, is always a good brand anyway. And we've only seen it at Meyer. They don't sell yeah, they it. Don't sell they don't have it at Kroger or Did they not Walmart? start selling some of this at Walmart or I'm thinking of a different brand? They have Rebel or something. There's something they started selling at Walmart recently. It's like that that you'd different. only seen. Yeah, it. At Meyer, but um, yeah, the Hudsonville I've only seen yeah, that at Meyer. Right. Yeah, it's excellent, excellent quality ice cream in general. But this yeah. was a, just a really good flavor. So now Kevin has another channel. It's called Lunchtime Review, and he reviews uh, lunch stuff. Lunch stuff, things that you can make in the microwave or uh, just already prepared sandwiches, things like that. Like things you, you could take into work. Right, so it looks like you only have only, one. He has one, and this one is the Joe's Diner Mac and Cheese, and it's a Trader Joe's. Um, and it was, I gave it a five out of five. Um, it was only two ninety nine for this box too. That's not bad. No, um, I mean that's as on par with the uh, banquet meals or whatever. So two ninety nine is not bad at all. Um, the cheese was good. The the pasta was cooked perfect. Um, it didn't get hard around the edges, like dried out. Um, the cheese wasn't that really fancy cheese. Like, you know, you get the, the really fancy cheese that has a really kind of funky, strong flavor. This was just a really good cheese. Uh, it was just, I mean, overall, just an excellent meal. Just try it out. So four days a week, he reviews those kinds of meals. And then one day a week on Thursday, he, he 
he'll go out to eat and Thursday there will be a restaurant like a drive-through review posted so this month I'm gonna tell you the one I could ever remember he never remembers <laughs> so this month I'm gonna tell you there were actually five Thursdays oh, okay. in the month of April so we have five places to choose from and I always am curious which was his favorite, which he would never want again. So these I remember were the, some of these didn't blow me away. So. Okay, so you had, on the first, you had KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Spicy Classic Chicken Sandwich, and Secret Recipe Fries, which are French fries. They but were they spiced, though. Them. They were, were spiced. They, they, they had a, didn't I they have the seasoning on? One. I didn't think they had any Did seasoning. I can't remember. There was one I had that had, like, a coating on it. Uh... Anyway, that one's one I, I can't remember. Maybe I don't, they did. I didn't get any. I don't have a memory of that blowing me away, but it would seem like it was good, but it wasn't like the best thing ever. I mean, if you don't remember it well enough, then, <laughs> then, then it didn't blow you away. I, I'm thinking I said it was as good as Chick fil A stuff is, though. So, I mean, you know. I okay, remember. on the 8th, you had the Sonic Bacon Jam Cheeseburger. I remember this one. And Red Bull Dragon Fruit Slush. The cheeseburger, they didn't put enough sauce on it. That it didn't have hardly any. Said. It didn't have any hardly any of the jam on it. That was the whole point of it. So I mean, well, they there's going to be another one like that. In they need to up that jam. I remember the other one was the A one, the steak one. Yeah, yeah and that uh, that was a good cheeseburger. It just wasn't what it said. That was well, we're skipping Sorry. one. But that was the on the 22nd. I'm skipping a week because he mentioned it. The Hardy uh, Steakhouse Angus Thick Burger. Yeah, it's supposed to have A one steak sauce on it. That's the whole purpose. That's what was supposed to set it aside and make it so different. You shouldn't have to bring your own A one. Right. Uh, they <laughs> should have been on there, and it wasn't near enough. Was no, it? I, I think I would even ask for sauce on the side if I were to do it again. Mm -hmm. Just just because they might put enough on yours, and then it would be too much if you ask for extra. But if you could say, "Can I have another cup of sauce on the side?" I wonder if they'd give it to you. I don't know. Um, but it was a it was a really good cheeseburger as a cheeseburger. It just wasn't but an A one steak burger. Right. Yeah, it just didn't have that flavor on it. It was good. The one that I skipped, I actually tried a bite of this too. Uh, this is the Arby's spicy Greek gyro right. yeah. and crinkle cut fries. Yeah. And I had a bite of it. I thought it was delicious. Yeah. I, I would eat that. I it would eat the good. whole so thing. So far, that's the best. That was I the best never one. had never had a gyro in my life. Yeah. And I only had one one bite of that one. Uh, but it was really good. Only because really she good. didn't want any more. But I didn't no, he would have. Yeah, of course. I could have eaten as much as I wanted to. But, no, I like that one because the, they had a really good sauce on there. Uh, like, like a, it was like, spicy. Almost like a yogurt sauce on there. It was, it was spicy, spicy but it wasn't over so the top good. spicy too. Right. But they have a traditional gyro that's not spicy if you don't want the spicy. You can just get the regular one. Get it's, the regular. That's and seasoned but not spicy. It was all, it seemed very fresh. Everything about it yeah, seemed it very really fresh and well done. And it is a beef one too. We, we looked it's up beef. afterwards yes. and it's beef because sometimes you can get them with lamb and this one's not lamb, it's beef. No. Well, I'm thinking Arby's. I mean, are they I know, they're probably not going to buy lamb. You yeah. probably pay twice in those for it too. And then the last thing you had was the Taco Bell Queso Lupa, Beefy Potato Rito, and a Wild Strawberry Lemonade Freeze. Um, I didn't mention the Sonic, the freeze thing. It was good. The dragon fruit. Yeah, the it dragon was good. fruit slush. A dragon fruit's just not a flavor that I um, I had, and, and there was nothing was wrong not, with it. It wasn't bad. It's one of those ones that gives you a headache immediately after drinking You have to it. drink them very, very slowly. Um, I think the Arby's was the best one. Maybe that's the one that had the fries that were... No, they were just crinkle cut crinkle fries. Crinkle cut fries. It must have been KFC, it have been but KFC I just... KFC that had I'm a little bit. I'm it, probably not It was just it. slightly coated anyway. It wasn't like it was... It wasn't like rallies. It was just slightly seasoned. Right. Um, yeah, out of that bunch, it would be the, the Arby's Euro. And I would get either the spicy or the non-spicy. Yeah, both of them are really, really... I haven't had the regular one, but I'm assuming it's just as good. Right. It's not spicy. Um, so that taco... And the Taco Bell, the... Quesalupa was okay. Um, actually, once I got like, because I ate the whole thing. Um, once I got like halfway through, it has like this the same sauce that the Chalupa does. Uh, the Cheesy Ordita Crunch, one of those two. Has like the white um, sauce on it and it's really good. The sauce is what makes it. Mm. Um, you, I got more of that towards the center. It wasn't on the edges, so I didn't really get that flavor. So it, was, it ended up being better than I thought it was. But it still wasn't as good as the cheesy burrito crunch. That's right. like the best thing. Um, but I tell you what, that potato, the beefy potato Rita mm -hmm. um, was really good. 
It was spicy too. Remember I told you after I got done about halfway through, I said, this has got some spice yes, to it. Yes, he said it had some spice to it, yeah. but he didn't offer me any because he knew. I would have oh, said she was not no. eating with potato in it. It, well, it's not, not only has, it's a soft shell. Here we go. With yes, potatoes and it's all mushy inside. And I'm, that's all three things. It's like. <laughs> no, and there no. I think she would have liked it though because it was literally like a, spa, a spicy, like a, um, a roasted potato. Mm, so it wasn't I like have it wasn't it like that. mashed potato or baked potato though. It was more like a, a big steak fry. Almost. Just it being in that soft. Yeah, you, she doesn't like the. I soft didn't even shells. like the look of it. It, it was looked, very good. It just like a grub worm lying there. And I like the strawberry thing. You took a drink of it too, and you said you didn't. You thought it was okay. It was very, very sweet. If you don't mind getting your calories from that type of drink, then I thought it was very, very yeah. nice and it's sweet. It's very tart though. It did have a tartness yeah. from the lemonade. Um, I did good. think it was good if you don't mind taking your cal getting your calories from that. For me, it was like, eh, I'd rather eat. I'd rather right. chew and have food than get my calories from a drink, but not everybody's like that. Right. So if you could only pick the dragon fruit or the Wild strawberry lemonade freeze, which the would the wild you? cherry, wild strawberry. Maybe. Well, I would too. Yeah, I would pick that over the 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 slush just because. Yeah. This freeze, it didn't seem like it would pierce your brain like as the, I did though. As much. After I got a few drinks, it's just oh it's okay. Because I didn't drink that. But much the Sonic before. thing, if they put more sauce on there, I would have liked it a lot better. Um, the chick, the Kentucky Fried Chicken sandwich was was fine. I don't remember anything bad about it. I wish it, it seemed like I said the the breading needed to be a little bit thicker on mm -hmm. it because one side hardly had any breading at all on it. But it was good. Mm -hmm. um, of course, they're missing the Chick Fil A sauce, which is what makes a Chick Fil A sandwich. Right. Um, yeah, I, I think and and the A one thing was a good cheeseburger. It really was a good cheeseburger. It just needed more sauce on it to right. make it a steak burger. Right. Yeah. So, if you are interested in the drive through fast food, then that would be the channel. Even if you only tune in on Thursdays, then that you might be interested in mm -hmm. watching. It's called Lunchtime Review. I try to find something different. I mean, sometimes I might get something that's been around for a while, but, but um, I usually try to get something different. Right. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if any of these sparked your interest, I hope you'll go back and watch them and uh, watch the video and give them a thumbs up and like them. And so, we will see you at the end of May to do this all over again.